issue here on uh, spray painted swastika inside a person's car. Do you realize how unbelievable that sounds? But we live at a time that, I hate to say it, First Amendment, Constitution for Free Speech, it's a fucked up cop with a fucked up job, a fucked up badge. Ain't it a shame that you can't say fuck? Fuck the police is just a word. It's all fucked up. When you paint a swastika in a person's car and then you post it out to all your buddies and friends. That's the reason why we're living in a fucked up world with fucked up people in a fucked up time in a fucked up country that you've created. Stop the fucking bullshit and save America. Vote for Trump. Oh, by the way, these are for the record, sir. L. Well, let's face it. Another fucked up condition, right? A crisis on not just homelessness, but the crisis of those people living in those RVs or in their cars that can't afford to sustain themselves in an economy like this when goddamn dumb bastards don't do, do their part to provide adequate housing. Not, not temporary, adequate housing. Something that they can live in. Not a shelter, not a shithole, and not the garbage hole. But an actual place to survive. Now, for those who are homeless or those struggling to live in their cars and RVs, whose fucking business is it of yours to tell them they have to move into where, into what place? Because the issue here is it all goes around in a circle. Fuck the governor, fuck the mayor, and fuck the DA for putting charges against people like that. So... America's doom, fuck the governor, fuck this crisis, fucking reality is we got a homeless crisis going on for more than five to ten years, and dumb white niggers too, like you, don't understand how to fix the fucking problem. It's just money. It's not your money, it's my money. I'm a taxpayer, I pay taxes up the ass. I want a clean community, I want a safe community, and I want all these niggers off the fucking street so that we can go back to make America great and save America from the unconstitutional violations of their First Amendment to say, fuck you, fucking assholes, you've left us in the fucking streets, you've left us in the fucking gutters, and you're nothing more but a bunch of fucking morons on homelessness. Fuck you. When it comes to development, it's like a barking dog. Because goddamn development is just a hustle against the American people, or as I would put it very frankly, against the taxpayers. Because we're getting raped by you dumb motherfuckers and your management use to build. When you could when you goddamn know well that if you're gonna build with mixed use, it doesn't work. Haven't you seen all the empty mixed use because you can't afford the lease? You can't afford to pay the rent and stay there long enough to develop an actual business that would actually hold up and sustain the value of your idea? No. Go to West Covina. Same fucking problem. Go to Los Angeles. A greater fucking problem. Problem. And who do you blame? The dumb bitch mayor from down there, right? So I don't know who to blame here, but the dumb bitch better wake up. If you're going to have a certain percentage of units for low income or fucking poor people, as I'll put it very frank, then make it right. It's either 50-50, tell the developer to go to hell, go back to China, go back to fucking Bangkok or wherever you're from, and shove it up your ass public wants housing, California needs housing, and America wants to build housing so we can grow, 
save America, and understand that when Trump becomes a president, we will not have the first black bitch in there with her San Francisco frisky talk telling us how great San Francisco was when she was a goddamn DA. Does anyone else?